Hi, hello, welcome to Home School. This is your class 10 Mathematics NCRT or CBSC board. We are in a 13th chapter statistics exercise 13.1. In this exercise, this is your last session and your problem number 8. A class teacher has the following absentee record of 40 students of a class. This is the data collected by a class teacher of a 40 students absentee record. For the whole term, find the mean number of days a student was absent. What is the mean number of days a student is absent? We need to calculate the mean number of days a student was absent in her class. In the whole term, we need to calculate the mean. They have given a data. Let's see here number of days, number of students. Always number of students, we are going to consider it as the frequency. F5. 11 children are absent in between 0 to 6 days. 10 students 6 to 10 days. 7 students 10 to 14 days. 4 students 14 to 20 days. 4 students 20 to 28 days. 3 students 28 to 38 days. And 1 student between 38 to 40 days. This is the data given here. Observe carefully. Class interval is continuous, but class size is not constant. 6 minus 0, 6. 10 minus 6, 4. 14 minus 10, 4. See here, class size here is 6, here is 4, 4. And here again 6, here again 8. Means the class size is not a constant value. Then if it is, if the problem is like this, we cannot do this problem in step deviation method because h is not constant. If we get the same class size, we can apply step deviation method. So don't try to do with the step deviation method. Better choose direct method or assumed mean method. So I'm going to do only those two methods. I am not going to do step deviation method. Why? The class size is not constant. Add frequencies and say summation F5. 11 plus 10, 21. 21 plus 7, 28. 32, 36, 39, 40. Summation F5 value is 40. Next, score. How we are going to get the score? We are going to find the class mark. Upper limit plus lower limit by 2. 0 plus 6, 6 by 2 will be 3. 6 plus 10, 16. 16 by 2, 8. Every class interval you need to do here. Don't guess any class mark. 10 plus 14, 24. 24 by 2, 12. 14 plus 20, 34. 34 by 2, 17. 20 plus 28, 48. 48 by 2, 24. 28 plus 38, it will be 66. 66 by 2, 33. 38 plus 40, 78. 78 by 2 will be 3, 9. Let's go with the direct method. In order to do direct method, we need Fi, Xi. Multiply Fi, Xi. 11, 3, sa, 33. 8, 10, sa, 80. 7, 12, sa, 84. 4, 17, sa, 60. 8. That's all now. 424 sir. 96. 333 sir. 99. 1 into 39 will be 39. Summation Fi Xi is equal to. Add this column. 3 plus 4 7. 7 plus 8 15. 21. 30. 39. Add 3 now. 3 plus 3 is 6. 14. And this one will be 22. 28. 37. 46. 
नाइन नाउ अप्लाई इन डायरेक्ट मेथड फॉर्मूला एक्स बार इज इक्वल टू समेशन एफ आई एक्स आई बाई समेशन एफ आई दैट विल बी फोर नाइंटी नाइन बाय फोर्टी सो जस्ट इजी टू कैंसिल फोर नाइंटी नाइन बाय फोर इनटू वन बाय टेन यू जस्ट स्प्लिट एंड कैंसिल फोर वन सा फोर टू सा एट फोर फोर सा सिक्सटीन पॉइंट फोर सेवेन सा ट्वेंटी एट अगेन ट्वेंटी मीन्स फोर फोर सा लाइक दिस या वैल्यू इज एक्सटेंडिंग सो लेट स्टॉप हियर आफ्टर वन और टू डेसिमल वन ट्वेंटी फोर पॉइंट सेवन फोर बाय टेन वन ट्वेंटी फोर पॉइंट सेवन फोर बाय टेन You can rewrite it as one two point four seven. You can stop. Twelve point four seven is your mean value. X bar is equal to twelve point four seven. Let's do the next method. Assumed method. To do this, we should know the a value. Let us take the middle value and score one two three four five six seven. Let me go with the fourth one. A value was seventeen, and right here A is equal to seventeen. Find the deviation. D I is equal to X I minus A. Three minus seventeen minus fourteen. Eight minus seventeen minus nine. Twelve minus seventeen minus five. Seventeen minus seventeen zero. Twenty four minus seventeen. It will be seven. Thirty-three minus seventeen, sixteen. Thirty-nine minus seventeen. It will be twenty-two. Okay. Now D I is completed. F I D I calculate. F I eleven fourteen sa. How much it will be? Fourteen. That will be one fifty-four. Eleven fourteen sa one fifty four right minus one fifty four next ten into minus nine minus ninety seven five sa minus thirty five four zero sa zero four seven sa twenty eight sixteen three sa forty eight. Twenty-two ones are twenty-two. Now add this column summation F I D I. All positive values you add. Then these three values add. Then subtract this from this. Okay, add this sixteen, eighteen, ninety-eight minus four plus five nine, and here. Nine fourteen seventeen two seventy nine ninety eight minus two seventy nine subtract this ninety eight it will be one eight one eighty one therefore summation f i d i is equal to minus one eighty one. If you have a negative value, please don't forget carry that negative value also with you. minus one eighty one. Substitute in the formula. Assumed mean method formula x bar is equal to a plus summation f i d i by summation f i. That is a value. What is your a? Seventeen. F i d i value is minus one eighty one by forty. Now do this LCM. You can do seventeen forty sa. It will be six eighty minus one eighty one by forty. Subtract this six eighty minus one eighty one. It will be ah uh, four ninety nine. Four ninety nine by four forty no into one by ten. See a same you got. So final answer is twelve point four seven. Therefore, mean in assumed method also we got twelve point seven. So finally, what we can say? 
therefore the average number of days a student was absent what is the average number of days a student is absent it is 12 days and 0.47 extra there therefore 12.47 is the mean number of days a student was absent the last problem in this exercise ninth one the following table gives the literacy rate in percentage of 35 cities find the mean literacy rate we need to calculate the mean literacy rate and they have given some data look here literacy rate in percent 45 to 55 three number of cities this is your frequency three cities literacy rate is 45 to 55 10 cities 55 to 65 11 cities 65 to 75 8 cities 75 to 85 and three cities 85 to 95 okay we need to calculate the mean literacy rate this we can do in three methods direct method assumed method or step deviation method or uh, children select any one of your choice but try to do only one method in your examination before starting this find the sum of the frequencies that is summation if i is equal to 3 plus 10 13 13 plus 11 24 24 plus 8 32 32 plus 3 35 therefore summation f i is equal to 35 let's start with the first method direct method x bar is equal to summation f i x i by summation f i so to do this we need to calculate x i and multiply f i x i x i is a class mark lower limit plus upper limit by 2 Forty-five plus fifty-five, it will be hundred. Hundred by two, fifty. Just you can guess the next class mark here. Sixty, seventy, and here it is eighty. And next it will be ninety. Next column F I X I we need to calculate. F I where is F I three? Three into fifty, one fifty. Sixty into ten, it is six hundred. Eleven seventy, sir. It will be seven seventy. Eight eighty, sir. Six hundred and forty. Ninety three, sir. Two seventy. Let's add this column F I X I column. All zeros, if you add zero. Five plus seven, twelve. Twelve plus four, sixteen. Sixteen plus seven twenty three. Two plus one three. Three plus six nine. Nine plus seven sixteen. Twenty two twenty four. Summation F I X I is equal to two thousand four thirty. This value substitute in direct method. X bar is equal to summation F I X I by summation F I. Summation F I X I value is two four three zero by thirty five. Let's do the cancellation. Five seven sa thirty five. Five four sa twenty. Five eight sa forty. Five six sa thirty. Then again with seven will it cancel? Seven one sa seven six sa forty two. Sixty-six is there. Seven nine sa sixty-three, and now here again three left. Seven four sa twenty-eight. Let's stop here. Sixty-nine point four is your mean value. X bar is equal to sixty-nine point four. Sixty-nine point four three something you are going to get. You can end up here. Sixty-nine point four also. You can end no problem. Let's go with the next method. Assume mean method. Before starting this, we are going to assume a value in the score. See the scores: one, two, three, four, five. Five scores you have. Let us assume third score as A. A is seventy. Deviation D I is equal to X I minus A. Fifty minus seventy minus twenty. 
60 minus 70 minus 10. 70 minus 70, 0. 80 minus 70, 10. 90 minus 70, 20. Okay, next step. Fi di multiply 3 into minus 20 minus 60. 10 into minus 10 minus 100. 11 into 0, 0. 8 tens are 80. 3 twenties are 60. Okay, let's add this column. 80 plus 60, 140. 140 minus 160. 140 minus 160, it will be minus 20. Summation FIDI is equal to minus 20. Apply in assumed mean method. X bar is equal to A plus summation FIDI by summation FI. Yeah, A value. What is your A value? 70. A 70 plus summation FIDI is minus 20. Put in brackets by 35. Uh, let's cancel. 5 7 is 35. 5 4 is 20. Now if you want you can do LCM. 70 into 7. 490 minus 4 by 7. That will be 486 by 7. How much it is? 486 by 7. Let's cancel. 486 by 7. Same you can cancel. 69.4 you are going to get. Therefore, x bar is equal to 69.4 as a mean value we got in assumed mean method. Let's go with the last method, step deviation method. To continue next method, we need to find class size. That is h value first. h class size 55 minus 45. It will be 10. h is equal to 10. U is equal to Xi minus A by H or Di by H also you can say. Now minus 20 by 10 minus 2. Minus 10 by 10 minus 1. 0 by 10 0. 10 by 10 1. 20 by 10 2. Now next column Fi Ui. Fi Ui. 3 into minus 2 minus 6. 10 into minus 1. Minus 10, 11 into 0, 0, 8 into 1, 8, 3 into 2, 6. Okay, now add this, 8 plus 6, 14, 14 minus 16 will be minus 2. Summation Fi Ui is equal to minus 2. Apply in the formula, x bar is equal to A plus summation Fi Ui by summation Fi into h a value a value is 70 summation fi ui is minus 2 by 35 into 10 okay now here uh, 5 2 sa 5 7 sa minus 4 by 7 that will be again to lcm 490 minus 2 2 sa 4 by 7 Again, you are going to get there 486 by 7. It will be 69.4. So, all the three methods we got mean value is 69.4. Therefore, we are going to end up with a one statement. Therefore, the mean literacy rate is 69.4%. Okay, they have given the literacy rate in percentage now. We need to end up our statement with, therefore, the mean literacy rate is 69.4%. Okay, with this, we are going to end our session. In our next session, we are going to meet with our next exercise. Until that, keep watching. Thank you all.